Hey there, kiddo. Now, I know I said I'd be coming home soon, but they asked me to do something, something important. And I uh, couldn't say no. I wanted to be there, believe me, but uh, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. And, uh, well, this is one of those times. <laughs> I don't know if that makes much sense to you, but maybe it will do when you're older. Anyway, I thought I'd send you this log. I know it's not the same as being there in person, but uh, it's the best I can do. I'm sorry. I'm not really supposed to talk about my mission, but if I'm going to miss your birthday, the least I can do is give you a good story. Hello there and friendly greetings. This is my comment on one of the Yamix video about the demise of Elite Dangerous. I started playing Elite in 1985. Yes, I'm that old for the modern standard of video gamers. I played Elite on my Commodore 64 and I was too young maybe to understand the majestic mathematics that is behind such a game. A literal open world in about 22 kilobits. Graphics, game mechanics, and all. Nowadays, not even the textures used in video games are so small. There are reasons why Elite is considered seminal and mind-blowing. Eight galaxies, each with 256 planets to explore. You cannot even imagine how humongous was the sense of wonder and awe we experienced back then. Our young Jaws was constantly dropped down on the floor. And for years, I was Commander Jameson, hopping here and there in a galaxy enclosed in my Commodore 64. Then, after years came a lot of clones, the most famous might be Oolite. And then came Elite Frontier and Elite First Encounter and our minds were, again, blown to stars, literally. You see, all these hype about Odyssey planet landing is, at best, naively ridiculous. In both of those games we could land on planets and dock at some ground city or ground bases, in addition to the new space bases, the one that inspired Elite Dangerous, just check them out and you will understand what I mean. And it was the early 90 on a 16-bit computers. Elite Frontier was released in 1993 while Elite First Encounter was released in 1995. You cannot even fathom the scale of those games. Ever heard about curved Bezier surfaces and texture mapping? In 1995? Exactly. For literally years I played and played all of them. Modded vanilla, super modded. There are some graphics overhauls for those games that are just amazing. Elite was a constant in my gaming experience. I always played them, and, at the same time, rumors were spreading about Elite 3. Rumors that materialized on December 2014 when Elite Dangerous came out. None, apart the hardcore fans and players like me, can understand the sheer amount of emotions this event was for us. I returned to the galaxy with an unbelievable joy and amazing math plus art plus science cocktail to play with. And I played all right, until everything went ape shit, at least in my point of view. A lot of the iconic spaceships were deleted. I suspect that those were the ships designed by Ian Bell, like the glorious Panther Clipper. Nonsensical stuffs were added. Like too much spices on an already yummy and tasty meal, people were forced to grind absurd items and tech and stuffs just to get out of the bubble unfulfilled or half-fulfilled promises and plain mistakes from Frontier devs. The infamous Thargoids were already present since 1985, and it was cool that finally they decided to reintroduce them, but the way they did spoiled all the mysteries and the level of dangerousness of those aliens. And no, dangerousness is not related on how powerful those aliens are. It was way away more subtle and hence a lot more scarier. At the time, Thargoids were a somewhat rare encounter, a mystery that was not meant to be solved, an ominous presence, a thorn in the side. Not the ginormous circus of antics that it is now. Also, as a side note, the devs have eliminated the glorious hyperdrive malfunction that could happen in past versions and gave even more of that sense of perennial, subtle but effective threat and sense of true exploration where not everything always goes right. They also removed little tiny details that made those game absolutely exquisite and immersive, for instance, you could buy a planetary shuttle with no hyperdrive, almost no cargo space, and slower than a snail on benzodiazepines. Nobody used that, of course, but it was fun to know it was there and made 100% sense. Today, the game is too much force grinding, too much pay to win, too less sense of wonder and exploration. I wish I could roll back to 2014 edition and just play that, rather than this overpimped clown-esque space farm simulator. Oh yeah, they gave us the multiplayer option, but gankers and cheaters, like in every MMO, to be honest, are cancer. 
At the time, 10 years ago more or less, I had my group of over 50 years old to play online with. Our team was called the Old Curmudgeons, and the claim was we kick asses since 1985. Now the team is long time disbanded. All of us nauseated by how a masterpiece in video gaming history turned into a meh. I can't even find a proper derogatory adjective to describe Elite Dangerous. Once there was a space opera saga. Today there is just another messed up project. Born on the ashes of past glories and love projects and dead on the worst, senseless, heartless altar of greed and covetousness. The predecessors of Elite Dangerous made history. This one, apart all the fine math and the scientifically accurate universe that there is behind and make it work, more or less the same math used back then, though. Do not. A good game is not made by eye candies, beeps, and pew pew. And so the Elite Saga has slowly but unavoidably ended. Badly and sadly. I find tragically ironic that you can go to pay homage to the crash site of Commander Jameson on HIP-12099. You see, in all the previous versions of Elite, Commander Jameson, was us. All of us. Makes you ponder, right? Got myself a bit of a situation here, kiddo. My guess is that they installed a program in my ship and set it to trigger after I deployed the payload. All my systems are dead. The uh, controls are out. <laughs> 